Well, hello everybody, and welcome back here to Sunless Sea. Now, we have a mission. We have a mission from the Admiralty. Here we go, to retrieve strategic information from the Cumaean Canal, south along the coast from London. And I think, to be totally honest with you, that is probably going to be the best thing we can do right now. Hopefully it won't be far away. Hopefully it will reward us quite well. So, let's set off, shall we? So, how are we all doing? This... I must admit, I'm really enjoying playing this game again now. Uh, the, the the final couple of uh, updates with the extra stories and the... You know, just a few changes have made this game feel much more inclusive. There's so much more to it. I'm still not happy with the, the combat system. I actually preferred the older one. But uh, I think it's going pretty well. The atmosphere is great. All the storylines are fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, it really is actually quite a shame that. Uh... Oh, that's not new one to me. Uh, it really is quite a shame that uh, they they have changed the way that the combat works because I, w I was perfectly happy with the older way, and it it fitted so so much more with the whole storyline thing. So. Oh well. Still, great game, great music, great concepts, great art. There's a hell of a lot of grace about this game, as you might have noticed. So let's head south and let's see what we can find. Get pick up a few port reports on the way. There's something there. Let's steer clear of that. Mutton Island, we've been there before. Let's go there again. It's actually nice to see something where we remember it to be totally honest with you because there's uh they seem to have moved the uh the map around quite a lot but mutton island is there and we're picking up secrets here which is great uh, fragments here which is great if we get this bar all the way up to the end we will get a secret which will do us nicely i think we will now be able to increase our stats fed the crew okay Looks like we're going to have to fight whatever that is. So let's do that. Let's get that up to full. And boom. Great. We can't even fight these things without getting into trouble. Marvellous. I am... Okay, let's turn the engines off, turn around, and then start reversing, and we get hit again. Great. Okay, so we'll butcher it for supplies. That didn't really help us much. The crew will feast. The, the glowing flesh is unstable. It crisps and withers as the glow fades, so eat it while it's fresh. Right, and we'll now head forwards into the dock. Yes, I'm really 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 must master the combat skills here all clear and into the dock we go okay Quaker's Haven once this simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs before London fell and the waters rushed in smoke spirals from cottage chimneys a lonely hill rises behind the town so we can take a drink to reduce terror. I don't think we want to do that just yet. Quite frankly, our terror is very low. We can pick up the wretched Mog, which I will do because everyone went on about it. Poor Squeakers is going to get evicted again. Uh, we can chat to the fishermen. We shall certainly do that. And we shall visit the hilltop of the town. But first of all, let's pick up the wretched Mog. Uh, oh, no. We'll come back for the wretched Mog because we don't have enough supplies. Okay, so what should we do? First of all, let's chat to the fishermen. They sail the Z around the island. They mend their nets by the harbour. They see all that happens here, but you'll need coin to open their mouths. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers at their work, carnage ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. So we've gained a port report. We've lost an echo. But hopefully we'll get more. Probably get five for that one. So, small profit. Uh, okay, we can explore. Let's visit the hilltop above town. Let's see what happens there. 
There's not much wind in the Antizee, but Mutton Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an inexplicably local fragment of weather, and the air on the hilltop sometimes carries interesting scents. You stand on the cliff top, looking over the island's village, smoke from the chimneys of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. There's not a breeze to ruffle your hair, nor to lift your collar. Below you, a young woman carries what could be real flowers, handing them out with a curtsy to everyone she meets. So we lost some terror. We failed at a challenge. Never mind. We'll try that again one day. What else can we do? Drinks? Pick up the wretched mog? Perhaps not. Is there any shops here? Wow, that is expensive. Okay, we're not shopping here. I know that much. And... Okay, there is a ship for sale. But I think that's what we've already got. Right, let's set off and see what else there is to the south of us. Send out a bat. What did you see, Z bat? The Kanang Canal is a long way to the southwest. Okay. We're heading in the right way, at least. Little ships throng the waters here. The crew grow wistful. They swap old stories of sunlit sea. We draw near to the command canal, the way to the surface. So let's head back towards the shore a bit. Especially as we're starting to pick up a little terra. And let's see what we see here. Alright, let's pick up some food. Fire! Good lord. Okay, this is this is actually embarrassing. We cannot win to one of these things. That that is scary. Okay, we definitely need to up our game when it comes to fighting. I think a a couple of weapons need to be purchased, but we'll do that. Hopefully, we've got a bit of money. So right. Let's butcher it for supplies. So, we've lost 44 hunger. That's good. And while I'm thinking about it, let's speak to the gunner. And we can spend a secret and gain ourselves a point of iron, which is going to make our weapons work a bit better. Days with the regiment. The gunner ran from the regiment, the urchin gang who keep a cannon on the high clock tower. But the urchin gangs reject adults, and now she plies her skills at sea. From the way she stumbles over the story, she still misses them. So. There we go. We are again slightly, slightly more combat ready. We've gone from 30 to 31. But still not to be sniffed at. We got a little bit of damage to our hull which we're gonna have to repair as uh, time goes by but uh, I think perhaps we will we'll get ourselves a little bit more banged up and then spend one more round with the rats before we get the wretched mog. It's possibly cheaper. Possibly. Let's have a quick look at the map. So we are down here, and I think we're just going to head west. There we go until we hit land, and then we'll head south down here and see if we can. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Discover the Kumean Canal. So let's dock here and do the task that the Admiralty have uh, tasked us with. Right, okay, so we've got a little bit of time before we get to the dock, unfortunately, which is the other side of this. I, I may, may speed it up, but... Um, discovered Albertine Gates. What a very Victorian name. 
Ben, we can't get through them just yet. Come on, port. Where are you? Discovered Giannotti Harbour. There we go. That's where we want to head. And how far down have we gone? So... Okay. We're about halfway down the map now, so... Uh, we travelled a fair distance. Fed the crew. Okay, so here we are in dock. Okay, we can travel to the service. We need 22 fuel and two supplies to do it. And we can listen to surface gossip. We shall probably do that. Gather information for port report. Fulfill your Admiralty commission. So let's start with that one. A deeply tanned vagabond waits in a jolly boat. His clothes are ragged and his face filthy, but his voice and manners are educated. His message is a string of numbers and the names of seven towns in Essex, Shropshire and Cumbria. He insists that you repeat it back to him three times. He will not allow you to commit it to paper. So, right, we have a strategic information. We've completed our commission. Hopefully we will get rewarded for that. Let's get a port report as well. The gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe in all the Untersea, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. So we have a perfunctory port report. Okay. Let's listen to the gossip. Daylight. This would be a prime spot for a pub or wine shop, but the interests of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of London prevent it. They don't like competition, still. There are temporary half-legal hostelries in long-moored ships. Here you trade stories with the, un uh, the suntan surface sailors, stories of pa Paris and Batavia, the Lost Fires and the Final Isles. We have a vision of the surface. And we can't travel to the surface. Let's see what the shops are like. They are hugely expensive. And the shipyard has the usual ship for sale. Okay. Well. Okay, we can carry on. But uh, quite frankly, I want us to uh, head back to London. And uh, see what that... Uh, that task of the Admiralty will give us. Hopefully it will give us uh, some resources because we are pitifully weak at the moment. So let's head back up there and see how we do. So perhaps take a slightly different route. Yeah, I'm going to head a little bit more to the east, see if we can pick up a few more locations, get a few more secrets. Perhaps kill a few more crabs. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. What's this? We have a little island here. Doesn't seem to be anything spectacular in this itself, just a lump of rock. Okay, let's head swing north. See how we're doing. Distant bells. Something has changed. Okay, I'm going to cut out here and I will bring you guys in at the next interesting event. Burning blue. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades. But it's not a good omen. We can't spin them a story because we don't have a Z story. If we did, we'd have another use for it anyway. So we have to attend to calm them, which is a modest challenge. The darkness of the Neath is more than an absence of light. It's a physical presence which distorts the shape of the world. Your light melts the darkness, restores sanity to the world. 
You explain something of this to your Zaylas. It's not the first time they've heard it, but they seem slightly less nervous. We succeeded. Okay, here we are again, back in... I was going to say sunny London, but... I don't think that's quite the case, really, is it? So, let's see what our efforts have brought us. So, we've gained, we've gained no cargo. We actually don't really... There's not really much of a cash economy here. I'm not really finding a place to actually work as a merchant and make money. So, uh... I'm still a little bit disappointed with that, to be totally honest with you, but let's see what's happened here. So, collect messages from the Harbour Master. All the clatter and song of the Dockside, it soothes the soul. Are there messages for you? We have one of this, and for another free evening, the brined bluzer would like a word. Something has changed in the neath, and someone wants to sign up. Oh, that's quite a lot going on. Good evening, Captain. And what a marvellous evening it is, if you don't mind me saying so. And given it is my impression that you're an obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And since you're so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo, if you happen to be in the area. The cheery man would, of course, cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. You know what? I think that if we say no to this, we're probably going to get end up with a very unhappy blind bruiser here. And quite frankly, I think his boss is even scarier than him. So let's accept this commission. And it gives us a reason to go looking for the place anyway. If you be so kind to deliver this little gift to our friends in Mount Palmerston, then they will see we get to hear about it. And when you come back, we'll cover your expenses. Bon voyage is my aunt, who was French by birth, if not by inclination, used to say. So, Mount Palmerston is generally, generally somewhere to the northeast of London. We've agreed to smuggle souls. We have one unstamped case of brilliant souls okay uh, oh a visit to Clathamont's tattoo parlor which is actually that's interesting because that place in fallen London actually uh, gives you various bonuses depending on what tattoos we'll, we'll probably end up there so let's start off here okay so we can sell Interesting. We, if we had a bit more favour, we could sell favour for fuel. That's probably worth remembering. Let's pass on our strategic information. He's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, actually. Good work. Take this for your trouble. The clerk will see you paid. 150 echo. Very nice. And we've gained a favour. Submit vital intelligence. We've done that. We don't need assistance with substance. I think we can afford uh, to buy our own resources. Let's submit our port reports. So, okay. Quaker's Haven. <laughs> Okay, in case you don't know, um, I don't know if, what countries you can buy this, but there is a brand of porridge called uh, Quakers. And yes, if made wrong, porridge can often be the rubbery lumps. So well, that has gained us a few point of fuel, that's gained us a favour, and that's gained us five echo. Not too bad. And the Khmer Canal. Well, if you've been there, I suppose we may as well hear about it. The fee is nominal, though. And we gain another five echoes. All right, okay, I can live with that. What do they need? The Admiral will see you now. Okay, uh, ask what he needs. Or... 
Discover the... Okay, there's two different things here. Let's see this, this one. Okay, so... They want us to go to Wither. Well, we're heading to Wither anyway, so uh, so um, that's fine by us. And... Let's ask what he needs. Visit a port and we'll be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest and we'll be interested in strategic information you gain thereby. We will pay you well, don't worry. We understand that you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. His lip curls. What's left of it? Okay, so that's given us a fair chunk of cash, which is a good start. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Well, one of the things I want to do is we need to go shopping. And let's see what we can buy here. Solace fruit. That's a new one. Okay, so this is still cheaper than everywhere else. We can buy fuel and supplies here, so let's spend a hundred on that. So that gets us up to five food and nine fuel. Well, actually ten, seeing as that's still mostly full. Still don't know what you do with Foxfire candles. I can guess what you can do with flares, they're a combat device. Interested in solace fruit. In smaller quantities, delightful and refreshing. In larger quantities, one of the very nicest ways to die. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we definitely need more power. We are clay. We will work. We will only work. This trio of clay stokers will reduce, reduce crew requirements, but will but also crew capacity and will slightly increase engine power. They are fitted into an auxiliary slot and when they are not in use they will stand patiently, hands by their sides, flat grey eyes unreadable. One will say sometimes, I like it when it's quiet. Oh that's so nice. Okay that is... I am willing to bet that is a tribute to the late great Sir Terry Pratchett who Quite frankly, anyone who's ever read his books will miss. Okay, we can't buy a, a, a Rattus Fabia assistant. It's a bit of a waste of time for us. And most of this stuff is either out of our reach or not viable anyway. So, naval surplus. Okay, so... Right, we have one of these, which is a deck weapon. We could get this, which is a forward weapon. That would give us two forward-pointing guns. Uh, or we can upgrade our existing weapon, which is hold damage 8, life damage 8, crew damage 1. And this one is... Oh, ever so much better. Hmm... Okay. And this is a forward weapon. This is a deck weapon. I'm liking these, I think. I am liking these a lot. Right, let's buy one of those. And let's go to our hold. So that's a deck weapon. That's almost twice as good as the existing one, which is 8, 8, and that one is 15, 15. And it fires twice as fast as well. Oh no, it fires at the same speed. Okay. Right, we'll shell that off. Okay, so we'll shell that. And that leaves us with very little money indeed, but hopefully that extra kick will make uh, at least the easy fights a hell of a lot better. Cotterell and Hathersage Discouragement. Uh, doesn't give us any stats, it's a shame. Okay. Cotterell and Hathersage Denunciation. That's quite nice. Deck, forward, deck, uh, where's it? There's some good names of these, aren't there? Okay, right. So we've moved up, uh, the Cotterell had the Sage Reproach. We have moved up the uh, 
the uh, the uh, arms race ladder a little bit so hopefully that will make life a touch easier for us what can we do here All right, let's start with our lodgings okay we'll spend 10 echo to rest that will give us a restful night um, and not really that much else we can do because we are completely broke but uh, before we move on let's have a quick look at the other options here okay you're a real Zayla now after all you could go to one of those tobacco and prey places by the docks but prices at Clathamont's are reasonable and his daughters are real artists but which sign will you choose okay so how much terror do we have 33 okay so we could increase iron we can increase well, okay so the only one we can do at the moment is iron uh, oh, actually that's a lie we could do increase hearts by two or iron by two Hmm. What's our stats like at the moment? Okay, we have hearts of thirty-one and iron of thirty. Uh, hearts of thirty-two and iron of thirty-one. Not really that much difference there. Um, hearts would increase how quickly we repair things and dealing with terror and things like that. I think we we'll go with hearts. The gold needle pricks. Lily Clathamont hums. The design is complete. A kind of radiance. To remember the sun by, she says, wistfully. So, okay, so we now have memoirs. Your own sweet skin is now the splendor. We've lost a vision of the surface. And we've gained two hearts. And we've lost 25 terror. So, nice, I'd say. Nice indeed. Okay, so we don't think we can do anything with him. Let's have a quick look at this guy. He has very specific needs, but he'll pay much better than market rates, and he won't ask how you came by these things. Okay, um, so he is after seven devil bone dice and seven outlandish artifacts. So we'll have to remember him. What else can we do? In London, there was somebody who wanted to sign on. Let's see what we've got here. The Haunted Doctor. Well, we can't get him anyway because we don't have enough money. And we've got nine Zaylas, so we won't bother spending that here. And it looks like this guy's got a story behind him as well, which is great. And besides... We have a doctor already, so perhaps not. Okay, I think we are pretty much set as well as we're going to get. Uh, next episode, I will try to either go to Mount Palmerston, or I will go up to Wither to um, f uh, t um, accomplish the task of the Dark Spectacled Admiral. Uh, in either case... We'll have to wait a week to see. I don't know myself, to be totally honest with you. Until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Sunless Sea. Thank you and good night.